टाटा क्वालिटी जपा योगी स्टाइल आई बी कवरिंग थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन नंबर वन वॉट आर द थ्री रीजन बिहाइंड पुअर क्वालिटी जपा नंबर टू वॉट आर द थ्री की रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एनहांसिंग आवर जपा क्वालिटी द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट नंबर थ्री वॉट आर द थ्री पावरफुल टेक्निक्स फॉर डूइंग क्वालिटी जपा बेस्ड ऑन सेंट इन भक्ति योगी सच एज नामाचार्य हरिदास सो ऑल ऑफ दिस विल बी कवर्ड इन ए शॉर्ट टाइम एंड आई वेन आई टॉक टू माई लॉट ऑफ डिवोटी फ्रेंड्स I ask them, how is your japa going? They say, Prabhu ji, there is a quantity but not quality. So japa, in one sense, you can call it as a meditation, and meditation is a big buzzword nowadays, right? It has significant benefit in terms of uh, based on the medical research, it can reduce blood pressure, it can reduce your anxiety level, depression, and insomnia. so let's look into what madhavendra puri who was the guru of uh, namachari haridas also guru of uh, ishwar puri and guru of sri advaita right he said the end result of all the scripture uh, reading on anything is to fix our mind in god fix our mind in naam of god that's the end result why not we get into that by doing uh, naam japa right so naam japa as per madhavendra puri says it will remove all our sins it will purify our heart and it will help us in god realization and love for god right so you can do japa on any mantra right prescribed by your guru narad muni prescribed to dhuva to chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya right and narad tulsidas Say that Mahamantra Joy Japate Maheshu Kasi Mukti Hetu Deshu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "In this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, only way to come out of that is by chanting the Mahamantra, which is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare." So I will be focusing on this Mahamantra, which is good for the Kali Yuga. prescribed in uh, uh, you know basically the vedas and different scriptures so before i proceed to that let me briefly talk about myself i am ceo of lucinthal which is a management consulting firm based in dallas texas and we have offices worldwide i have written uh, two books one is on the innovation engine for growth which is a business book another is on the the technology side and i have help hundreds of clients worldwide and let's move to the main thing is three reasons for poor quality japa right one is the disturbed mind while doing the japa we are thinking about our spouse kids friends thinking about job money or sports the second reason for is the mechanical chanting right we are chanting like a parrot and our mind is not in god not in the nama right and third is lack of faith in mantra or nama right so the mechanical chanting is not going to give us good result no to poor result right so we have to be out of that mechanical chanting because we cannot fool god with mechanical chanting because god is seated in our heart and god want us to fix our mind in him right so let's look into the three key requirements for quality japa i developed a bhakti requirement triangle triangle here so what are the three requirements purity of mind faith and surrendering nature right and this this model is the essence of our scripture Now I will tell you how Lord Krishna explained this some of the requirements here, and I will tell you based on great sages, saints. This is the perfect model which fits in their uh, way of living their life, right? 
So let's see what Lord Krishna says in chapter 12, verse 2. Chapter 12 is basically Bhakti Yoga. No, that's the name of the chapter. In that chapter, Lord Krishna says, Maya Vaishya Mano Ye Maam Nitya Yukta Upasate Sradhaya Paryo Petaha Teme Yukta Mamataha Lord Krishna says, Arjuna, fix your mind in me, in the God Krishna, and with Sraddha, the faith. That's the key essence. So faith is coming, right? And mind has to be there, right? Which is the purity of mind. Because, because we cannot go with the dirty mind to God, right? And then in the verse 8 of chapter 12, Lord Krishna says, Mayeva mana adhatsva, may buddhin niveshaya, niva sisyasi mayeva, ata urdhvam na sansaya. Lord Krishna says that fix your mind on me alone and surrender your intellect in me. Again, Lord Krishna is telling, surrender your mind in me your intellect in me, then you will advance in bhakti, which is the Nam Japa, right? And if you look into all the great sages, saints, they have a purity of mind. Right? Without purity, we cannot establish our mind in the bhakti. And, um, and you can say, if I have just the purity, I don't have faith and surrendering nature. Will I advance in the bhakti yoga? No. We need to put equal effort in all of this. Right? If we don't have a surrendering, I don't think we'll get to the God realization. We must have a faith, surrendering, purity, all these three elements to go to the Godhead to realize God. This is the key essence, right? Let's understand. What is the meaning of purity? Purity means basically there should, have, should not be any hatred, jealousy, greed, or any negativity in our heart, in our mind, right? So how do we get the purity of mind? Purity of mind comes by serving devotees, right? And Lord Krishna gets a lot of pleasure if we serve his devotees, right? So it's important. And many of the, the devotees, they know that we need to be servant. And they always say that you are humble servant. But when you talk to them many times, they act like your boss, right? So if you are telling you are, I'm your servant, I must listen to you as a, you are my master and I'm your servant, right? So we need to develop this technique, really master it, how to do servant leadership, right? And in terms of faith, I think most of us know in the material world we have a faith in money because money can buy anything for us if, right so it has a buying power faith in poison means it has a killing power we know and we all have faith in poison and that's why we know that what is the poison can do right it can kill somebody same thing faith in japa and nam means it has a power of God realization, right? And surrendering means accept results, whatever comes to your mind, don't argue on the results. So that, so that basically you are getting away from the, all the conflict, right? All the anxiety, frustration, depression, which comes because your expectations are not met from the results. So if we accept the result as a God Prasad, there is no frustration, my friend. There is no stress. So that's very critical element, right? And when a child surrenders to the parent in a, in a childhood, the parent takes care of the child, right? And parent knows that this child is helpless. So parent gives everything to the child, right? Love and providing food and taking care of the child's bathing to everything. Right, so that is called surrendering. Right. So let's move to the third dimension which we were talking about 
that what are the three powerful techniques right so number one technique is that based on the gaur kishore das baba ji you know who was born in 1838 right and he was guru of bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur and and bhakti siddhant saraswati was a guru of prabhupad and prabhupad many of us we know because he was the founder of scan right so let's see what was his prescription to do the japa so he said that while doing japa just see the letter and chant that means let's say this is the hare krishna hare krishna mantra right right so just see this and chant that's one or while chanting mentally write each letter while chanting it so basically he gave two prescription right so let's practice it right so please practice with me and we'll be chanting while reading it right each letter seeing it so there should be something in front of you right so you can buy this or uh, you can get anything you can write it down in your a notebook or something like that right and keep it in front of you so let's do that hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare next round please chant mentally closing your eyes and while chanting just write down those letters uh, in your mind hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and when you do that initially it's not easy right it will be much more slower right so slowly slowly you can write faster also or mentally writing faster can be possible but getting focus is not easy so it will take some time right so many times you know some of the disciple will ask why this one why can't i jump directly to do the rup dhyana a lila dhyan a dham dhyan while chanting right so he says no don't do that because nama has power to manifest the nami it will manifest the rupa it will manifest the lila it will manifest the dham so don't worry about that at the initial stage automatically this nama will give you this all of this right so that was the technique one practice it technique two was is based on namachari haridas namachari haridas he was famous for doing 3.25 lakh name every day that means 192 rounds of japa most of us you know we do 16 rounds of japa you know prabhupada prescribed 16 rounds chaitanya mahaprabhu prescribed 64 rounds he used to tell right that uh, anybody who does 1 lakh naam japa he will visit their their home otherwise he is not going to vi- visit you need to be lakpati so that chaitanya mahaprabhu will visit so he had a pre- prescription for 64 rounds that typically takes about 5 to 6 hours of chanting 64 rounds prabhupada lower down 75% and he says do 16 rounds which takes about 1 to 2 hour depending on how slow fast you are right so in this technique of uh, uh, haridas uh, namak uh, thakur he will do first 64 rounds in mind next 64 rounds in silently right and then last 64 rounds he will do loudly with hands raised right and so the first two rounds 64 rounds and second 64 rounds in front of the tulsi plant right and he was in the benapel uh, jungle right and he used to do that uh, in front uh, in front of his hut 
in the last 64 rounds in the night typically because by the time you finish this uh, 128 rounds is in the night right so he was doing almost whole day and night only one time he will go in the village grab some uh, prasad uh, for his uh, lunch and then he will spend whole day nam japa so look into the model i suggested there purity faith and surrendering haridas was perfect fit he had full faith and nam japa that's why he was doing whole day and night surrendering in the nam japa he did not worry about earning money not worrying about popularity shelter anything worry less full surrender whatever comes he will take it in purity of heart he never felt bad about anybody even his uh, the head of the village the ramchandra khan you know he had animosity for him and he sent prostitute to defame him but he never had a bad feeling for for ramchandra khan and by the way this prostitute lady you know finally became uh, his sishya you know disciple he started doing the japa right and uh, so that's the model fits pretty well so let's do uh, how haridas will uh, do this chanting with cry and praying god in help helplessness right so and during this japa he, the tears will come from his eyes right so let's do this japa uh, with me a little bit hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare <coughs> hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so while chanting become helplessness basically show that so that you can connect well with the god because god wants dinta in you right that's very critical right the moment we have ego god doesn't come close to us that's the key thing right the technique three i call it surrender and pray this is based on draupadi we all know that draupadi was brought to that gambling place the dicing hall where durodhan and yudhishthi had a gamble and yudhishthi lost everything including draupadi he bet draupadi also and dushasan basically got him got her to the this dice hall and druidan asked dushasan to disrobe draupadi and make her naked right so draupadi prayed to bhishma pitama dhritrash to the king nobody listened uh and could not do anything they were all helpless that moment the finally draupadi tried to protect herself she could not then finally she surrendered and then started praying god so please keep that mindset a mood get that mood of helplessness and pray god oh lord krishna help me come out from this worldly life help me realize your potency your transcendental bliss without your help i cannot do anything oh krishna he govinda he govinda he govinda he govinda help me govinda 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 he govinda so draupadi chanted this he govinda krishna appeared when she chanted with helplessness with full surrendering that is the critical thing surrendering is essence 
and God will appear pretty easily in front of you. Let me give you a bonus technique. The bonus technique, which is the fourth technique, is to visualize the chanting, assuming all your body pores are chanting with you. So basically, end result of chanting is that the all the pores your body is, will start chanting so the this technique is basically is to align yourself with the end goal where your whole body is chanting right in advanced devotion that's what happens so what you do is close your eyes and while chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna you think that your heart is chanting your face is chanting your hand is chanting you know all the ports of the hand chanting there are millions of ports so feel that the whole sound wave is coming from the whole body right so let's do that Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare like this try to see that all the organs and body ports are also chanting with you that's the fourth technique it's a bonus technique you know uh, i thought why can't we do that keeping end goal in the mind right so i have seen some benefits out of that and you can do all these four techniques of japa it's not that you have to depend on one japa over other because even haridas namacharya or thakur you know he used to do three techniques, right? Mentally, number two, silently, and crying, raising hand up, and praying, right? So, finally, to summarize, the conclusions are, we must develop purity for quality japa by doing service. Number two, focus on word, like uh, God Kishore Das Babaji suggested, or cry, a pray as uh, Namacharya uh, uh, Haridas suggested, or uh, surrender and pray as per the Drupadi style, you know, or visualize that every pose is uh, basically chanting with you, right? The fourth technique, right? And then you can start experiencing the bliss and God realization, right? So, with that, thank you very much. God bless you. Hope you get benefit of uh, Nam Japa. Subscribe to this channel. I'll be sharing a lot of insights about devotion, spiritualism such as yoga, meditation. Also, I'll be talking about science and business, all the perspective because we all work somewhere. So how do we perform better in different aspects of our life? So I'll be talking about that. Thank you very much.